little over two years ago, Darcy Tucker was out on the ice when he noticed something wasn't right. Drive the gate, boy. So I coached my son's hockey team and uh, I was out on the ice with them and I started to experience a little bit of pain, um, you know, in the hip uh, area, uh, but over the course of time, uh, it got worse and worse. Tucker, the former Toronto Maple Leaf who made a name for himself as one of the grittier players in the NHL, had all kinds of injuries over the years, but he never anticipated this. I, I didn't have any hip problems uh, you know, in my career. For me, it was a kind of a shock, because uh, when I did retire, I felt pretty darn good about uh, uh, the way my body was. Tucker decided he had no choice but to see a surgeon. That pain was basically bone on bone by the time I got to Dr. Rodriguez, and uh, you know, kind of a lifesaver, so to speak, from a pain standpoint, a pain threshold. I wasn't able to sleep at night. For Dr. Sebastian Rodriguez, an orthopedic surgeon at Humber River Hospital, Tucker was an ideal candidate. This must have been your pushing off leg because you can yep. see you have a broken bit of bone and cartilage here and there's no joint space anymore. What Dr. Rodriguez proposed was a total hip replacement, but with a bit of a twist. Instead of approaching the joint the way most surgeons do, from the side or the back, what Dr. Rodriguez wanted to do was approach the arthritic joint from the front. A lot of surgeons are now starting to experiment or slowly use this technique. It's known as the direct anterior supine approach and it's gaining in popularity in Canada. The benefit for direct anterior approach hip replacement compared to conventional hip replacement is that there's less dissection through traumatic tissue. You don't disrupt any of the nerve supply potentially to the muscles. So uh, you don't really disrupt the engine. Whenever we do something in medicine that's less invasive, it allows for a faster recovery, and overall that decreases the burden on healthcare, which we all pay into as taxpayers. Last year, Humber River Hospital undertook an impact analysis to see how much this surgical approach would save the hospital. I think we did save the hospital, about 237,000 was what I put on the paper, yeah. And we're 36 hours post-surgery, and we're wheeling it. Darcy Tucker was fortunate to be one of those patients and had the surgery back in the summer of 2017. Today, Tim Galloway is hoping to benefit from the exact same surgical procedure. At age 55, Tim may not have had a career in the NHL, but he suffers from osteoarthritis, the number one chronic condition afflicting Canadians. Getting out of bed's rough. <laughs> Putting socks on is even rougher. For the last seven years, Tim has been less and less mobile and his job working as a finisher on construction projects is getting tougher and tougher. At the beginning it wasn't so bad, but now it's uh, progressively got worse. It's affected my life. Some things like squatting are especially painful. Well, you get down and you, it just burns on the way down and then you, you know you gotta get up, so you're looking around for something to grab onto to get up. And that's, to me, that's the worst part. With the surgery scheduled in just a few hours, Tim's partner, Tracy, offers some encouraging words. Are you nervous? No. Yes, you are. It'll be fine. Yeah. And you'll forget all about this in the summer. The trip to the hospital doesn't take long, and Tim seems more than ready. Honey, even your personality's gonna t you're gonna be much happier. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna see those beautiful white teeth more often. Mm. Tim will be in good hands. His surgeon is none other than Dr. Paul Bollet at the Ottawa Hospital. How you doing, Mr. Galloway? Good, good. good to see you again. You too. You have any uh, last minute questions? Nope. You're all set to go? Yeah, you're up. Okay, we'll bring you around and then the, you'll meet the anesthesiologist. Okay. okay. From the time that Tim is wheeled into the OR to the time he's wheeled out, it's only 50 minutes. All done under a local anesthetic. So we're doing this as outpatients. So the first two, this patient, um, two patients this morning went, went home today, and uh, the next, the, the other two will be home. Uh, will leave tomorrow at 10. Bring our average length to stay for a primary hip at 1.1 days. Five, six years ago, we'd be talking about three days, five days. And early the next day, Tim's partner Tracy is there to take him home. I did a physio this morning. I <clears throat> did some exercises, and then they wanted me to do stairs because they have stairs at home. No problems, no problems at all. He'll be up on his feet within days, just like Darcy Tucker was, seen here six days after his operation. These days, Darcy is back on the ice, coaching his son's team and skating pain-free. Beauty! 
It's been a little over six months since the surgery, and Tucker's rehab has he's been remarkable. Me. He's with me. Now I'm with him. Now he's with me. Now I'm, I'm back skating, uh, basically almost back to 100% uh, from where I was before the surgery. From, from my perspective and, and my point of view, it's, it's just, it was a life changer. I, I needed something to, to get back and get back to normalcy. Um, this one, for me, was the one. For Dr. Rodriguez, it's all about better patient outcomes and saving the healthcare system money. So I think it's important that if we can do something that people are happier with, have less pain with, and are able to get home to their loved ones sooner, and that additionally benefits the healthcare system financially, it's something we should pursue. 